Okay. You are given f of x, which is equal to x cubed, okay? plus 4x squared minus 7, x minus 10. They say write down the y-intercept. Y-intercept is whatever the value of t is. Okay? Whatever the value of t. So you don't have to waste time on that one. So you put 0, you put 0, you put 0, and then you get to put your function f 0 is going to be actually minus 10. Okay. x is 0, our y is 1, it's minus 10. Okay. One mark for us. Yes. And then number two, they say, show that 2 is a root. Né? And then how do you show? Show that 2 is the root of the equation of f of x. How do you show which 2 is a root? If you take 2 and then you substitute it here and then it gives you 0, it means root is a what? It's a, it's a fact. Oh, it's a root, it's not a fact. Mm -hmm. But you can say f of 2, né? which is going to be 2 all cubed plus 4, 2. Mm -hmm. Or square yes. minus seven yes. minus ten, yes. and then if you do this, you get what? Yes. So it makes this two to be what to be a factor. That's how you prove something is a what is a it's a fact. Oh, it's a, it's a rule. In fact, let's do it this way. It is a root. Yeah? What is a factor? The factor x minus two is going to be what to be a factor. Let's also take this opportunity and teach you. If they said show that x minus two is a factor. If they say show x minus 2, it's a fact. You don't put minus 2 there. You're going to say x minus 2 should be 0. Né? And then you take the 2 to the other side. It says which x is going to be, to be, to be 2. And then you're going to prove by saying f of 2. Everywhere you see x, you're going to put 1, 2. This is a factor. Né? x minus 2, it's a factor. 2, it's a root. Just like if you, when you're factorizing, when you're factorizing, I'm sure you have something like this. Né? If I have something like this, x minus 2, x plus 3. This is a factor, né? but x is equal to 2 or x is equal to minus 3. x minus 3, those are roots of x. So we should differentiate between a root and a what and a, and a factor. We get our roots from our factors. Once we have the factors, then we can get what the, the roots. Okay, we are done with that one. Let's go to number, number 3. They say hence or otherwise, usually they usually say hence or otherwise. They say, factorize f. They're trying to say determine the x-intercept. So now we adopted a simple way to factorize. We said if we're given a cubic and then we have to factorize, we're going to go to our calculator. And then on our calculator, we're going to go to table mode. And then we go to mode and then we press table. And then we type this thing exactly the way it is. We say we have alpha x alpha x, and then we have shift cubed, you know? and then we have plus four alpha x, and then we have squared, you know? minus seven alpha x, alpha x minus 10. And then they say to you, I don't write anything. And then they ask me, where do I want to start? We said we can start anywhere, but we want to include as many values as we can. So we can say, let's start at minus six. Depending on your calculating memory, upon how big is it. So we have minus, and then you're going to end it at, at six. Step. And then you go this side. Chaya want us about, we should not check at the x is zero. We're going to check at f of x is equal to, two, to zero. So let's go and check which way is this thing zero. We have zero here. Can you see that? Minus five. So we write it. X is equal to minus five. Yeah. That's number one. Go and check zero, zero, zero. Oh, we have another zero, zero. Another zero is minus one. So I'm going to tell them which X is going to be equal to two, minus one. And then we can also do this. Zero, again, we have two. No? So it means which X is going to be equal to two, to two. But these are the roots. We don't want the roots, you know, we want the factors. So they say we should factorize. How are you going to factorize this thing? You can open three brackets. And we have x, it's minus. Here it's going to be what you mean? Plus five. We have x plus one. We have x minus two. This is going to be equal to what you to zero. And then they will give us one, two, three. Next, it is further given that the coordinates of the turning point uh, approximately 0, 0.7 is to minus 12. 
and then zero comma minus zero comma three four is to twenty. Draw a sketch and label the intercept and the turning points. So let's do this then. What are we going to have? We have the x-intercept. Let's start with the x-intercept. What are the x-intercept, number one? We have minus five. Okay, minus five, it's somewhere here in between 10. What else do we have? We also have minus one. Okay, we have minus one. Yeah, what else do we have? We have two. Okay. Zero is two. Zero is to minus 10. And then let's go to the turning points now. What do you have as your turning points? It's 0, 0.7. So this is not a good scale. It's going to make our graph to be a little bit difficult. OK, let's try a different scale. Well, let's check it. We said, what are going to be our x-intercept? Our x-intercept, we said we have minus 1. OK, let's start with, we said we have minus 5. OK, we shake minus 5. What else do we have? We have minus 1. And then we have zero is to two. And then y intercept, what do we have? Yeah. We have zero and minus 10. Okay, here it is. Okay, let's go to the turning points then. What do you have as the turning points? Is it negative or positive? The zero comma seven? Positive zero comma seven. So zero comma seven. Oh, this is one. So yeah. So it's 0, 0,7. So it's 2, 4, 6, 0, 0,8. Okay. 0, 0,7. It goes with what? Positive or negative? Minus 12,6. Okay. We expect it to be somewhere here. It's turning. Mean, it can either look up or it can look down. What is the other turning point that we have? Minus 3,4. Minus. Okay. This is minus 3,4. It goes with what? 20,8. Okay, we expect it to be somewhere here. So it can either turn down or it can look up. Okay, um, we said the simplest way to do this is to go back to your calculator. I think you already have this thing in your calculator so that you can get a better shape. Let's check. When we have minus 5, minus 5 goes with what? Let's go and check. Minus 5 goes with 0. Okay, it's fine. We shade this one here. Minus 4 goes with? 18. Minus 4 goes with 18. Yes. So you have minus 4 and 18 is somewhere here. And then 3 goes with? Yeah. Huh? Negative 3 goes with 20. Negative 3 goes with 20. No? Yes. Okay, negative 3 and 20, here it is. Uh, let's go to minus 2. Minus 2 goes with? 12. It goes with 12. Here is 12. This is 20. Okay, sharp. Let's go on. Minus 1 it goes with 0. And then zero minus 10. And then after that, you have uh, one. One goes with minus 12. Okay. Two. Zero. It goes with zero. Okay, yeah, two and zero. And then three. 32. 32. Okay, it's going to be somewhere here. So what are you going to do then? You're going to connect dot number one, dot number two, and then you go to a turning point, and then you go to dot number three, dot number four, dot number five, dot number six, dot number seven, dot number eight, dot number nine. And this is how our function is going to go. And then I will stop here.